Hello everyone, nice to see you again. I'm Chris. In this video, I'll show you how to use backups and swing get to start up a Instacart Master and we'll use EK1101 in this tutorial. And then we'll connect to a Keynes. And the Keynes, at this time, will be operate as a Instacart slave. So uh, as may, if you use Keynes because before, maybe you will think they are using it's an IP, monobus or PLC link something, but by using these KVX LOE modules, you can start up different types of industry protocol. In this time, I'll show you how to start up as a Isacat slave. By using Isacat slave, then you can make a real time communications with backups, not just backup with a uh, Isacat master. Okay, let's start. Before I uh, continue to talk with my uh, so continue my tutorial. Let me introduce myself. I am Chris. I come from Hong Kong, and I'm working as some factory automation work. And in the left corner, you can find my Twitter, my bot, and my YouTube. And hi, if you like my channel, my what I am publishing, you can follow it and just ask me some question there. Okay, now we can start to start our live demo. Let's go. Okay, first we will configure the uh, key inside first. So first of all, we will open the key studio and make sure that you change your key studio mode to editor. And then we can open KB8000. And then there is a unique con con editor screen that allow you to make the conversions. So uh, although in this project, I already configured my my hardware but i'll show you how to do this first of all you can go to select delay as uh, select unit and then you can slow down and then you can sh find x find a unit that call um kvx loe o2 just drop it in your uh conver conversions then you add a kvx loe 02 into your network and then you need to make some configurations. The first one is you need to select this module and then go to setup unit. That uh and you see it here for the KVX E02, then you can see there's two bots. Actually, these modules allow you to run different protocol, different protocol in each bot, but uh if you use EsaCAD, so EsaCAD you need a one input and need a output. So if you use EsaCat this module as a user slave, so you can those the, those two boards will be operate as a EsaCat slave. You need to take care about that. So in the right hand side, that just uh, make sure to set your setting port one and port two to EsaCat slave, and then uh, just disable disable the this uh, the execute device ID. And then you can config the lead DM number. This is a device for you to allow to receive the error ID or some status of your modules. And then you, they will have a tab called refresh setting. It's allow you to uh, it's allow you to set the data size that you want to change with the Lisa cat. Um, so in area one, area two, area one is a bit size, area two is a work size. So I will only use work size in here. I don't want to make so complex or so confused. So and in here I use sixteen works input, uh, sixteen works output, and sixty works input. So um, my input will be uh, from W zero zero to W one F a zero F. And then for the receive will be from W10 to W1F. And then you, after you save it, all this conversion, you, com you uh, make the correlation complete. You just save it and download to your CPU. That is finished. And then I just make some refresh program here to make sure that I'm making the right data. I'm receiving the right data in my uh, in my trinket side, and I use a broad move functions to move all the data that I receive from trinket and then move the buffer. Then we can convert to check it later. Okay, I think for the key inside is it's ready. Now we can start to make the trinket side. Okay, as you see, this is the real hardware hardware conversions that I'm using this time. And here in the main part is the back of. Uh, Devices in the, here is the EK1101, the second controller, and uh, you can see a white cable is connecting to my Keyens PLC KB8000, 
and neither the x x thousand a q x thousand that is the equivalent merge of call k v x l e zero two this is the the module that i'm using this time it will convert as the second slate that's why the reason that this right cable will connect to this module and on the other hand side that you see this in my pack of ipc the green cable is connecting to the uh is and the right cable is connected to this other network switch and this network switch will directly connect to the to my pc and here so other usb cable is also connected to my pc for connecting to the kiwi studio okay so no any special conversions now i will start to use trinket to configure my project let's go hey guys now we start my trinket editor now can we start the program so first of all i would like to make sure that i now my twincat xae is connecting to my ibc so go to system change target and make sure that i'm using this one this one is my ipc c6920 okay and then go to io and device add new items and choose isake master then you need to choose which interface that you are using for the Isacat Master. So I will go to search here, and I think it's this one, not this one. Okay, oh, oops, it should be this one. Okay, and then now I use to automatically scan function to scan all the Isacat slave that now is existing in my Isacat network. Right click here, scan. Just wait a second. Yes. You need some time. Okay, we got also so many, so many uh, terminals that in my module in my is is a capola, so you maybe need some times. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But as you see now, you can see that. In, there's a box six box seven it is connecting to kvx lo e02 is is my the is like the safe the the module that we are using this time great okay now all the scan now is finished now we can open our key and key lo e02 you can see now the operation mode is p operations then uh, you need to configure the slot for process data. So go to the process data tab, and there's an input and output uh, SM to allow you to uh, configure how many data you are trying to exchange between your uh, KVXLOE02. So click output, and you have four five items in here. In this case, I'm using only 60 works. It means uh, the 16 works so you can just pass uh, uh, ch check this zero uh, one six zero zero then you see uh, there are eight variables of UDID is at in your project uh, is at in your configurations so do the same one for the input done then you see the size is 32 bytes in here it means it's 16 works so uh, I will open my uh, my uh, Okay, we start you again. Go to edition, editor, and then you choose this module and go to refresh that thing. You can see now I'm setting the data in 60 works. So just make sure I need to match the size here. Okay, great. Now we can add the PLC program. So go to PLC, add new items to add a standard PLC project and open it. First of all, I will add a uh, GVS for me. I will say GVLOS underscore uh, KV. Then I will guess put some data here. In data is at percent I star mark array zero to seven of UDINT. And then I just copy it. Oops, I also. I will copy here. It also work, but I would like to make the format a bit beautiful. <laughs> so I just put Q in here, and here is our data. Okay, and then uh, I will go to my main program to write some data to my output 
process images to make sure that my data is con is transferring transferred to the GNS KV LV02. Okay, so go to here. You can see the G value KV dot out data zero is equal to sixty AABB CCDD. Okay, then I'll just copy it because uh, no need, right? So see. Okay, then I'll change the index. One, two, oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? And I change the data to uh, A, A, B, C, A, B, C, D, E, F, A, B. And then uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's change some random data. Um, yeah. And I change and uh, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero. And then uh, two V two V two V and uh, four five four five four five four five and then six seven six seven two one okay and then we need to build a build our project the so build and build solution to build your project and then we can map the data go to the input and open your input and output data in here let's select all right click change multiple link and choose the data that we define in the GVL. Do the same thing, same operations for the output. Okay, save it and then we can use activate conversions to download our project. Okay, shift to run mode. Okay, and we can log in. And then we can go to KV the this one we created and then we can uh, change the display format to hex because it's more easy to see and uh, display mode hex here is also go here display mode hex yes okay then finally you see some data is that is received from the controller from the KVLV02 we can open here let's change the mode to online the monitor and then uh, we can see that we send something at 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 then we go here is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 like something and also then we can check the data because we use the block move functions to move 16 data from W10 to W100 let's go to monitor and a bench monitor window and then choose a w the uh, d uh, w100 oh sorry here w100 w100 and change the display format to hex for a little bit then you see the all the data is transferred and you can also right click the module and uh, you need to monitor. Now you can see the monitor the status of your uh, module now. And um, combination monitor. Then choose EsaCat. Then the operation status is okay, no problem. And the same operation can check in the Trinket side also. You can go to the Trinket and then uh, open your slave and then go to online there's the operation now is op the mode is state the machine is in op operation mode so it means that there's no error its operation is the low mode status finally i open the camera to show you the status um maybe not easy to see and you see here the key is module is green status and here it's refreshing and there's no error so the complications you can see here is just to define the computer status okay or not Okay, I think my tutorial is here is enough. I hope you like this video. It's very a short video, and I hope you I can see you in the next time. And if you have any problems, that we can, you can leave the comment or find me in Twitter, email, LinkedIn, and we can discuss anything. Okay, I hope you I can see you again. So please have a good day. Bye bye.